Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's Learn Python the Hard Way. If you go to his text, which is available online for free at learnpythonthehardway.org, and click on Read the Free HTML Online, it'll take you to this page, the table of contents. In this video, we're going to be looking at exercise 13, which is Parameters Unpacking Variables. If you click on that, it's going to take you to this page, and we've got a small amount of code. It's actually really short, only six lines total. Um, I'm going to show you a version that I've got a fair amount of commenting on, but I'll explain it as we go through. So I'm going to go over to Text Wrangler. If you're on a Windows PC, you'll probably be working in Notepad++. And let me show you what I've got in here. The first thing is a statement that says, from sys import argv. Okay, this is slightly cryptic, but it's very, very important. What it is, is it's a way of importing or adding some extra code that gives some extra functions to Python. Um, it's called an import. And what we're importing here uh, from sys, system means the system files, uh, argv, this, we're talking about here a module of code. It's also called a library, called a module. And it's just a, it's just a collection of code that gives you extra functions so you don't have to do them yourself. It also makes the program smaller because you don't have to include all these extra functions when you're writing, uh, when you're you know, saving the program. Um, the argv is, is called an argument variable. It's very common and it's used for holding in the variables that you send into Python or that you pass to your script. Passing a value is, is the expression that we're looking at here. Now, we're going to have four variables go into our argv, our argument variable, and they are called, in order, script, first, second, and third. So we either go script, first, second, third. And they all get their values from argv. So argv is sort of a compound variable. It holds a bunch of stuff. And this line unpacks it and separates the pieces of information that go into it. And it assigns those values into these four vari variables from left to right. Finally, we're going to take our four variables and we're going to print one line for each of them, where it says print, the script is called, and then uh, put in the value from script. The comma will stick a, a blank space in there. Then the first variable, the second variable, the third variable is called third. So we're going to be calling on each of those in order. Now, I wanted to add a little bit of extra information here. When you run the script, you type the information for the variables, so the things that you want to have appear for script first, second, third. You type them on the same line uh, in the terminal over here, where you type Python and then ex13.py or the name of your file. Now, the script, that's our first variable here. That's actually going to be the name that we use. We're actually putting in an argument already and that's normally passed through into Python. Um, but we're going to add three other things onto that. You know, you're going to want to make them one word at this point. So, for instance, here's an example. Bart teaches programming or Python. EX13, Z writes books, or whatever you want your variables to be. And just remember that the EX13.py is the first variable that is called script in this case. So let's see how it works. What I'm going to do over here is I've got this, uh, I've got this script or this program over here. It's saved as a Python file. In fact, I see it's right there. That's where it's saved. I've already got Python looking at my script folder. And so all I need to do here is I type in Python and then ex13.py, and I'm going to put a little underscore in here. So these actually reads these as uh, separate words. So these are the, my values for the variables. The first one, the name of the script, is going to be this one, ex13.py. The value for my variable that's called first is going to be the value that I'm putting in is called one thing. The value for the sec for the variable that's called second is going to be an whoops another thing, and the value that I'm giving to the variable called third is the last thing. So there we go. See what we have here are the four lines right there that come from right here. These four print lines. The script is called, and it pulls the name of the script from right after the word Python. It's pulling that information. The script is called that. The first variable is called one thing. The second variable is called another thing. The third variable is called the last thing. Anyhow, that's how it brings it in. And it's a way of being able to add some optional information that a person can put in there that can affect the way that the program runs. You'll see a lot more of this as we go on. But for right now, 
Hope that makes some sense. See you in the next exercise.